Hey guys, what's up? I am here now at a hotel. There is a holiday party going on later in the ballroom and I'm gonna be getting ready, doing my makeup, my brows, and we're gonna get all dressed up for this fancy schmancy party. So I'm gonna be going to a very formal party, but my philosophy is that if you're gonna get dressed up, your face should be kind of dressed down along with your hair. But I'm gonna make a statement, especially with my brows, so I will take you through the steps. <laughs> but first. And now we are ready. I have this hairband to keep the hair out of my face while I go and do my makeup. I have already moisturized my face and I'm going to be using the Full Brow Brighten Up Eye Cream for under the eyes. So I do this every morning and evening as part of my skincare routine. It really brightens up under the eyes and minimizes fine lines. Alright, now that I'm done with that, it's time to move on to the makeup. Just gotta prime. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I put a bit of foundation on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna like slap that on there <laughs> and using a sponge. Gotta blend, 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 blend. It's time to conceal all of those late nights. So I'm just gonna add a bit of color to my face with a blush and bronzer and can I just say, look at how magical this brush is, dang. I'm almost done. <laughs> Wait. With my other magical wand, I'm gonna highlight just a teensy bit. Ooh, <laughs> girl. There is it. I cannot do it without this brush. So whatever I use for my cheeks, I'm also using for my <laughs> eyeshadow because why not? This is my mascara face. Don't judge me, y'all have this face too, you know. Oh my god, I think I just poked myself in the eyeball. No biggie. <laughs> if you made a mistake, don't worry, you can rub it away with your saliva. No one will know. And girl, <laughs> you know the eyebrows are the most important, so we're gonna save the best for last. So here is my brow arsenal. I have the full brow brow powder in dark, the brow wax, spoolie brush and eyebrow brush, and the smudge in light. Let's do this. I'm gonna start by just brushing my eyebrows up and following the direction which it goes. Just like that. I don't like to do too much because I want it to look natural. But of course, I still want them to stand out. I just dip my brush into the brow powder, oh, so lightly. This is a precision task, so I gotta go in with my mirror. So I'm just doing small, tiny strokes and defining the arch of my brow and lengthening the tail. And all the little gaps I have here, I will just fill it in oh so slightly. Ta-da! Here is the smudge in light. One side has a little brush and the other side has the product. So with this side, I'm gonna fill in right over here, but oh so lightly. Blending in all that product together. Okay, now to make sure everything is in place, I'm using the brow wax. I put a little bit on my fingers like this and just place it on my brows. This ensures that my brows don't go anywhere. I don't want them running away somewhere. I'd like them to stick on my face if that is okay. When the wax is applied, I use the brush to comb it right into place. Yo, these brows on fleek, yes, 
Look at them! So my brows are secured in place with the wax. It's a very nice natural finish but still bold and beautiful. So that's essentially it for my whole face. So now that I'm done, now that my whole face is ready and set, it's time to fix my hair. It's time to get dressed. This dress has pockets. So here's the final look, dressed up, but the hair is dressed down with killer brows. Before I go one more dance break. Sorry that I missed your party. I wish I had a better excuse. Like I had to trash the hotel lobby. But I was busy thinking about boys.